Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. Most universities are going paperless these days. It is understandable because of these reasons that you want to invest in a laptop or an iPad Pro. If you clicked on this video, you obviously want to find out which is the better choice for you. At vet school, I've experimented with using both the laptop and the iPad Pro. But if I had to choose between one or the other, hands down, I would choose to use a laptop only. Why? So the short answer is that a laptop is more efficient when it comes to doing online lectures and taking notes at the same time. I could use all sorts of keyboard shortcuts and because of my personal preference of using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Office apps. If you've clicked onto this video, I bet you want to find out whether or not using a laptop or an iPad is more suitable for you. So I've structured this video into five main scenarios that you will come across during vet school and to see whether an iPad is more beneficial for you or a laptop. To save time, I've listed everything in the timestamps below so you can jump around and find the most value bits of this video to you. The first scenario is when you are learning anatomy. So in first and second year, you will have anatomy lectures where you go through all the body systems of the animal and learn about the different muscles and nerves and blood vessels. And for that reason of visualizing the structures, I found it easier to use the iPad because I could annotate and also draw along the PDFs during the lectures. This was when lectures were in person and things weren't recorded. So I found it easier to keep up with the lecturer when I could annotate these things and I could use different highlighters and colors which made annotating such a delight and such a pleasure to use. When comparing with the laptop, obviously it's harder to draw diagrams because you need to use a mouse or a trackpad to draw these diagrams. And a way to get around it is to use OneNote where you could still annotate and draw lines on PDFs, but it's less of a pleasure to use compared to using an iPad where you can use the Apple Pencil. On a quick side note, other tips for studying anatomy is using this free resource on VIN, which is called Ivala, I-V-A-L-A, where you can actually click through all the different organs and and muscles in canine species or equine species to visualize the anatomy better. Another tip is to pre-read before the practicals just to get an idea of what structures you're looking at before going to the practical and I think the main thing is to learn about where the structures are in relation to one another. So for example what are the main hind limb muscles and where are the blood vessels and nerves that you need to be aware of. For example if in the hind limb the sciatic nerve is one to avoid when you're giving injections for example. It's not really about who can draw the prettiest pictures using their iPad. It's more about the knowledge of how these muscles function and what they can be used for. So the next scenario is when it comes to online lectures over Zoom. So with the iPad, I don't really like how when you take a screenshot, you have to like crop it after you've done the screenshot, which takes a bit of time. And then when you're done cropping the screenshot, the lecturer has already gone on to the next topic and then you feel like you're falling behind. Or maybe there's a better way to screen capture on an iPad that I don't really know about. Another thing is I don't like the split screen function on the iPad because I feel like I don't have much control over it compared to a laptop. With the laptop, I really like how I could use the keyboard shortcuts and also the snip tool so that I can crop things and paste it into my notes in Microsoft Word or OneNote on the go. I like the split screen function better on the laptop as well. It's e more easy to use and I was more comfortable with it, especially if the lecturer goes through the content super fast. You want to be working very, very efficiently and keep up with the lecture. I guess one could also argue that when you're watching the recordings, you can always skip forward or like rewind backwards. But yeah, it's really a personal preference. The third scenario is portability when it comes to bringing your laptop or iPad to school if you're cycling or if you can bring it in during your practicals, which is better. If you look at the iPad, the iPad is more portable because it's a smaller device and also I found that the battery lasted longer on my iPad compared to my laptop. And also during wet practicals, it was easier to bring the iPad in and annotate things as I go along. So in these practicals, they might give you specimens, for example, a heart organ, a limb, muscles, and then point to certain areas and teach you how to identify these structures. So with an iPad, I could go along with these practicals, take a photo of the specimen with my camera function and use my Apple Pencil to annotate as I went along. With a laptop, you won't be able to use the camera function to take these photos and it's sort of more clunkier and like, more awkward to carry around but an iPad is like a piece 
of paper where you can just hold it this way and make your way through the lab. I also found it really useful, especially when it came to histology practicals where we're looking down a microscope. I could take photos with my iPad and then just annotate as I went along. For a laptop, you might be able to use your phone to take a photo, but then it might be difficult to annotate it on your phone and then you have to send it to your laptop, annotate it on your laptop once you leave the practical. And by then, you might have forgotten some information or you might have not been bothered to do it because you procrastinate along like I did. So yeah, in that sense, I found that the iPad was most useful for me. And on the iPad, I use apps such as Notability because it was very easy for me to use. Obviously, just to mention, if you can't annotate your or take pictures during the practicals, it's not the end of the world. I'm pretty sure that your lecturer will have handouts or you can Google these images online. You can also write, thing down, write things down on pen and paper. Having a laptop or an iPad is just like, you know, an extra luxury if you can afford it. The fourth scenario is the types of apps that you use while you know doing your assignments or revising. With the iPad, I use Notability, Notion, and Anki, and also Quizlet sometimes. And I found those apps easy to use and revise from. However, when it comes to assignments and making notes, I use Microsoft Word apps, and those tend to crash or they don't really work well on an iPad after using them for long periods of time. And I found that it wasn't as user-friendly compared to when I'm using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Office apps on a laptop. I guess you could get around this by using Google Docs or Google Apps to do your presentations and stuff. In that sense, the iPad is fine if you want to use Google Docs to take notes or Google Spreadsheets to make spreadsheets and presentations, etc. But for me, I use Microsoft Office on the laptop. And also, side tip, check with your university if they offer free Microsoft Office apps because a lot of my friends came to final year and they didn't even know that the university gives them free Microsoft and Microsoft apps are expensive. So make sure you check with your uni that you get free ones. And again, personally, I prefer typing things up instead of handwriting things when I'm making my notes because I find it faster for me. So I found that using Microsoft Word, OneNote was better to be on a laptop. And also if you're wondering why I didn't use a Mac, it's simply because Macs are so expensive. So I use an Acer laptop during university. So the last and final scenario is when it comes to taking exams. I'll split this into two sections when you're revising for exams and when you're taking the actual exam. When you're revising for the exams, you should find a way that works for you the best. So what this means is for me, active recall was the method that I use quite a lot and I use it using Notion. I have a video talking a bit about that and also Anki flashcards. So with that in mind, you can use Anki and Notion quite well on the iPad and also on the laptop. But if you are a person who revises using handwriting notes, so like handwriting or drawing mind maps and color coordinating the notes improves your memory, probably the iPad would be a better device for you to work on. The second part of this is sitting for the exams. So we had to sit our exams online because of the pandemic and I found that I uh, used Microsoft Word for my documents and uploaded them later to the website where we had to submit our exam documents. When it comes to the iPad, you could technically use the iPad as well with the keyboard attachment to write your exam answers. However, I didn't want to risk letting the apps crash on me during an exam. And also I wasn't as confident using an iPad for those kind of things compared to using the laptop. So I prefer using the laptop. In conclusion, I prefer using the laptop as a device to use at vet school purely because I type faster than I handwrite things. I prefer using Microsoft Word and OneNote because I'm more comfortable with them. And I prefer the split screen function when it comes to Zoom lectures and also to screenshot things quicker. And I do a bunch of other things on my laptop as well, such just like video editing and stuff, but that's not that's school relevant. So what does this mean for you? Basically, you want to consider what type of note taking person you are and how do you revise from these notes in an efficient way so that you excel at vet school. So if you've always handwritten your notes and you find that you benefit from them, like drawing mind maps, highlighting different colors, and you prefer a portable option because the iPad is lighter than a laptop because a laptop you have to carry a laptop and also like a charger around, which can be quite awkward, then maybe choosing an iPad, like an iPad Pro, would be a suitable option for you. However, if you're like me and you prefer typing and using other methods of revising, for example, you know, group studies where you're in person, and if you use active recall using apps like Notion or Anki, then maybe using a laptop would be more suitable for you. 
So yeah, that's it for this video. And if you want to know how I studied at vet school and the different study methods I use, click this video. And if you want to know what every vet student needs to bring to vet school, click on this video. And with that, I wish you all the best in starting vet school this year and see you in the next video.